Uh, welcome back, everybody, to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I wanted to. I've been actually busy shooting and filming lately, and I figured let me walk you guys through what's going on over here. Uh, this is actually my house where I live, and I haven't had power for, I don't know, two days. And I smelled like this burning smell from my DB box. And when every time I go outside and I would look, hey, there's guys that have power out here. There's power in my garage. There's power in the outside rooms, but there's no power on the inside. Now, I know this is probably illegal to do, but I had to just to open and look inside of one of these meter boxes and see what the hell's actually going inside here. I figured maybe if I was lucky that it was just uh, some relay or something that's inside there that blew that maybe I can just quickly fix and change and uh, see uh, what happened. But uh, now that I'm in, I had a proper look and see actually what's going on in my DB box. Uh, I figured since I'm here, let's see if I get some light over here, bro. So I figured since I'm here, let me quickly give you uh, a quick rundown on how South African DB boards work. Um, first of all, switch off everything. So your earthly switch is off, my main isolator is off. I'm gonna switch off these switches as well because these have do have voltages on it. Um, I'm gonna just switch everything off because I don't feel like dying. Okay, cool. So what it looks like, or how I understand it, is that we have our main 220 coming from here. That's going from outside from out the main transformer that's coming in here. Then it passes through these contacts over here, which is connected to the back of these, which are basically uh, switches for maybe there's a normally open, normally closed. And then when there's power activated, it will switch between um, the different contacts and then allow power, which is the red one coming through there, goes through here, comes back and it goes into the crossover switch or the yeah crossover switch because we have a generator over here. So if this, if this switch is down, then we get power from the generator. If the switch is up, we get it from municipality side. And then from out here, from your live and neutral, it goes into your first isolator. Out your isolator, it will go into your earth leakage, uh, which you can see the black and everything. And then from the earth leakage, it goes into all your other contacts like that. Uh, I don't want to go so deep. Uh, the person who wired this thing did a banged up job because it's so it's not neat. This is not neat at all. I wish I did this myself, but Vegas cannot be choosers as long as it work. But what's interesting to see that the burning smell that I got, the, 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 the symptom that I was getting of no power, no power inside the house, but power outside showed that, okay, no, this DB box or this uh, meter over here had to be fucked up. Something about it had to be wrong because I keep smelling smoke and I keep hearing uh, arcing. So I figured, okay, let me open it real quick and just take a quick look and just to find that here is the problem. Right here, this contact blew. So a lot of current came through over here and stuffed this up completely. Uh, this is gone now. I don't know if this um, is still working. I'm going to have to take a look, maybe get an order or something, call the municipality to come check it out. But definitely inside over here, it definitely uh, stuffed up and everything like that. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video like that, just explaining real quick of how this DB, uh, DB, uh, <laughs> how this DB board works. I might go into more in depth or more of a detail, more detail of it. You must just let me know in the comment section uh, if there's likes on this video. But uh, like I said, there's something just real quick and just a, a quick way to fix it. Uh, I'm planning on getting myself a DB board uh, just to do practice on so I can teach people or teach uh, people of the internet on how to actually wire a DB board correctly and how to probe in here to find out where the faults were because what was weird for me like I found that at some point sometimes there was voltage over here on the crossover sometimes and then it would disappear and if there's no voltage here then none of the stuff would have voltages from going from that side so obviously then the power the problem had to come from here because that's the first thing that happens over there but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video i will check you in the next time